Well, hello everyone. It's Margaret with Margaret Stamping Studio, and I am so excited about this new um, catalog, mini catalog we have coming out, and actually it's going live today, and the new celebration items. Um, Stampin' Up! is doing something new, and some people might be a little sad at first until they hear the full story, but Stampin' Up! is doing something new with celebration this year. Um, it's normally January, February, and March, that you can earn a free item with um, with a qualifying purchase. This year, they've changed it to just January and February. Um, and there's just one offering, usually they'd add new items, but this time it's just one offering for January and February. But where the exciting part is, is that it's gonna come back, yay! In July and August, there will be a second celebration um, with Whole new offerings and so I'm just I'm just so excited about that because I love free stuff so um so that's the exciting news um as far as celebration goes I have some exciting news for myself is that this year I am going to have in March an exclusive event for um for people you can earn this event and it's going to be a home decor piece it's called celebration celebration and i'm going to pamper you and we're going to do this really cool um i don't want to give it away it's a home decor piece but it's going to be awesome and um to earn that um you will need there's three three ways you can earn it you can spend 150 dollars of qualifying celebration items which means you would get free celebration items also if you do it in one lump order you actually would qualify for host benefits. So that's another at least $15 in free stuff. So that's how I do it if it was me. Um, because I'm already a demonstrator. If you join my team, you earn this free class. Or if you join my monthly technique club, and I'll post more information about that, but it is a six month commitment where you spend $25 a month and um, we learn one technique and one phone fold at each class. Now, right now I am still doing classes just Zoom and I do record them when I remember and, um, and I do post instructions also. Um, but it's the third Wednesday of every month at 10 a.m. is when we do the Zoom. And, um, you know, you can just, I'll post more information um, later today about that on here on Facebook and I'll be sending an email out as well. So. So there's those two exciting things. Now, would you like to see some stuff and get stampin'? I, um, oh, oh my gosh, there's a third exciting thing. So I'm gonna be creating four cards in this video. If you place a qualifying celebration order by Sunday, January 10th, um, using a host code, um, I'll have to post that. I'm not sure if I wrote that down here in my notes. Um, I'll post that under the video. So you'll have that and I'll post it again later throughout the week. Um, you will get a card kit to create all four of these cards. Now they, you might not have the stamp sets, it's okay, I've designed them. So you can use whatever um, stamps you already have, or if you decide to purchase them, then you'll have a kit already ready to go when you get, um, when you get your, your goodies. So let me turn this over to the overhead view and we'll get stamping and I'll show you some beautiful things. You're gonna be so excited. Okay, we're back. I um, apologize for this. I'm, I'm actually in Arkansas helping my mom. Uh, she fell and broke her hip just after Thanksgiving. So it's been a little crazy. Um, and I'm working with limited supplies, um, but that's the great thing about Stampin' Up! It so much coordinates. This is the first card we'll be creating, and it uses two celebration items. One of them is called Heal Your Heart, and it's a stamp set. And it's got all these beautiful greetings, um, thank yous and sorry for your loss, wishing I could heal your heart, which is what I'll be using today. We're in this together. I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. I know these, these are just so timely and just wonderful verses. That's a good one to have on hand. Um, we always hate making those kind of cards, but it's nice to have something beautiful to do it with. The other 
thing that is celebration is this designer paper. And I love it. I'm sorry, my thing is a little bit laggy behind. Look at these prints. They look pretty, um, pretty vivid and wild, <laughs> which they are. They're a black base, most of them, with all these pops of color, and they are just gorgeous. So that is the print side or the floral side. The other side is all of these great patterns. So we've got leaves, we've got tulips, polka dots, herringbones, stripes, and more polka dots. Um, this one here is actually flirty flamingo in black. Um, and they are just lovely. And we'll actually be using this paper in the last card that I'm creating. No, it's not the last one. Maybe it is. It is. But so you'll get to see this paper again. Um, let's see what that is called. I don't remember. Here it is. Flower and field designer paper. And let me just show you how cute this is. It's just four strips of the different pattern paper. And this pattern, which is just very, very busy, let's see if you can see that a little better, looks perfect, just cut up in that little strip. And I love it. I'm yay. <laughs> so anyway, so let's get creating this card. Um, it's this one is very simple. You'll have the pieces will all come in packets like this, and it'll come in your envelope. And what I did is I took the card base and I used this is the green one of the two embossing folders that come in the greenery set and the main catalog. And these are designed actually to fit into our mini um, cut and emboss machine, which actually goes live today as well. It's only $60 and it's a smaller base. So if you're just doing little words or just a couple little pieces at a time, this just gives you a good idea of how, much, how big the cutting platform is. Um, it's so quick and easy. So mine's waiting for me at home and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So there's that. So I did that and I just embossed the side of the card. I've used the Just Jade ink, which is um, one of the 2020 ink colors. So that'll be available through 2022. And this is just such a beautiful green. And yeah, we have a little ink spot. So funny story is when I was packing to go, I packed one bag of clothes and five bags of craft supplies. <laughs> I brought knitting, I bought, brought sewing. I thought I'd have all this downtime while she recouped. Nope, I've, this is what I've done, is these, these cards. But that's, that's perfect, that's what I was here for, to help my mama. So wishing I could heal your heart, that's super easy. Now we've got, this is just a three by four piece of um, of the designer paper. The back side of this is the little tulips. Oops. I'll just put some pieces on that. And this will come already embossed for you. And I am putting this paper right along the right fold of the card, about a half inch from the bottom. Pull it back down paper snips. Next, we're going to dovetail this little strip of paper. Again, the dimensions will be um, emailed to you. PDFs already all written up. So when you when you place it all fine quarter, you can go ahead you'll get these in the mail. And this is just our polka dotted tool ribbon. And I'm not sure if you could really tell, but I dovetailed the edge of that. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a piece of adhesive, just a little strip there. And that is gonna be plenty to hold that now. Next, I'm gonna take some dimensionals. Oh, 
under the straight on top. And I think I did put this one down lower than on my original, but that would be just fine. And I am centering the label, you know, I'm just eyeballing it, but um, as close as possible to the center of the designer series paper. That's kind of where I'm, I'm centering it. Now for the flowers to get um, dimension on those, what you're going to do is, I'll use the back of my catalog. You want something a little soft and squishy. So if you have a mouse pad or something like that, and this is not squishy enough. Nope, that's not squishy enough. Okay, well, we'll just do it the old school and we'll crinkle it. Just crumple it like it's trash. We all know it's not, but it does give a real pretty effect. I love have them having dimension. What I did on these is when you have a nice um, foamy surface and you kind of crease in the middle, you kind of um, go in a circular motion, that will help the edges curl up. And then what we'll do, so we're gonna take two, you'll have six in your pack. And we'll use glue dots. These came from a paper pumpkin kit. So I don't have my regular ones. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add three of these. Not three of the glue dots, three of the flowers. And I don't need to show you how to do all three of those. Just for time's sake. Now, what I did here is I colored um, our regular rhinestones with a black stamp and blend marker. So if you ever want a rhinestone to match your color exactly, if you have the blends, then all you have to do is just color it and give it a few seconds to dry, and then you're good to go. We do have um, these new black embellishments in the main catalog. Um, they are here. Let's look at this. Look at this. Um, love you always, sweet. It's black and white designer paper. This is foil paper. Look at these cute heart charms. I love it. Um, matte black dots. You will actually be getting these in your kit. I just didn't have them here with me. So you'll you'll have these instead of um, black rhinestones. So you'll get to keep those in white. Okay, so you'll just do that with your two other flowers. Offset them there like so. And that card's done. Easy peasy. Let's move this stuff out of the way. And we're going to go to this May. Well, I have a lot of favorites. I was going to say this might be my favorite out of the catalog and celebration. Um, but I'm not sure because there's so many others. So this set, the sweet strawberry set, is in the main catalog. And it's a bundle with this punch. And the card that I'm going to make is right here and um it's just it's very simple very easy again you'll be able to recreate this with whatever you have because this right here is designer paper and cardstock that i cut with a bunch now if you're wondering where i got the designer paper from i got it from a celebration offering it's actually a level two celebration which means it's a hundred dollar purchase um, it comes with this design paper. Oh my gosh, the, I love this paper. I'm so sad that it's a celebration. I mean, I'm glad that I have it, but that means I only have two months to play with it to show you guys. Um, of course, I can use it for my own stuff later, but um, I just, I just love it. I love it. So here are the berry prints. We've got raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. And you might think that's kind of odd until you see the celebration stamp set that goes with it. So you've got your blueberries and your raspberries. You've got your stems, and you've got a couple more phrases, verses. 
that are in the same font as the strawberries. Let me bring my strawberry set back up. So look, they all coordinate. Is that not amazing? Oh, love it. So, um, so this is the first side of the paper. Now the other side, which is where I got the um, the strawberries with the seeds, is here on the back. Oh, I had that one the wrong way. I'm sorry, that's actually red raspberries. I should have shown it on the other side. So here we've got kind of like a blueberry print. We've got plaids. I mean, these don't even have to be associated with berries, really. Um, I just love it. But this is where I got the um, the paper for the strawberries that I punch. And you will have to punch strawberries in your kit. And here are your supplies. You will get three red rhinestones, which I may or may not have in this pack. I might have to grab those. No biggie. Okay, so this is so simple card. Get these out of the way. The if anything takes you any time, it'll be the coloring. And I'm, um, I will show you how I created this background. And I'm just using that with, um, with, this, with this image here. It's the blossoms and the leaves of the strawberry plant. And what I like to do is grab a scrap paper because I don't want any of these image on the lower half of my cardstock. So I'm just going to put a scrap paper down here along the edge. And yeah, my uh, precise measurements is about three finger widths. So I want it about there. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I am putting um, ribbon on there. So if it's not quite perfect, it's no big Now, when you're stamping a big background image, you want your images to go off the edge. It looks more natural and more pleasing to the eye than making sure you have everything within your, um, your cardstock base. I know that stresses some people out, um, but that's why you make sure you have scrap paper underneath and then you're good. Stamp it a few times. Let's see. Some. There. I wanted to make sure I had another blossom up in that corner. Right. Get that out of the way. Next, um, what I'm going to do is color this. And I'm just using three blends. You can tell I pack my blend. <laughs> and this is really easy. All I'm doing is the dark mango, uh, mango melody. And I am just coloring the center of these blossoms. Okay. Next, I'm taking my dark old olive. And I'm coloring the leaves. Now, actually, I'm not going to do this whole page for you. Uh, that'll that'll just take me too long, and I'm sure you don't want to watch me color all this. But I will do this one leaf. And I'm going to show you what a new trick that I've learned from my friend Sandy, and I, I love it. Um, she was really on to something. Let's see if you can look this up. See how there's just a slight subtle um, shading around the plants, around all these images. What I did to get that is I took my light pool party and you outline the whole image. And you just go around you're real quick. You don't have to be real precise. Um, leaving little bits of white, or in this case, vanilla, 
um, exposed actually adds interest and highlights. So don't ever worry about leaving a little spot of white here. So you just go around each image. So it's not something you have to do, but once you try, it'll be like, ooh, yeah, I like that. Sometimes you won't have time to do it, and it does look beautiful without. Um, but if you have the time, you're going to love it. So by the magic of me actually being prepared for one, I've got one already done. <laughs> All right, now the next part, easy, is just adhering this. To a full party man. And then I've got two pieces of, of ribbon. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your um, stamp and seal or your adhesive right in there. And then you're going to wrap this around from edge to edge. And you're going to have it so it's right along the stamped images. Straight. Then you'll attach it to your card front. I probably should have stamped it first, but I will live dangerously. Now this time, um, on this one, I put happy birthday, you sweet thing, which I think is just adorable and I love that. But I know that that phrase isn't always appropriate. So this is another great phrase in here. And it says, that was so sweet of you. Again, perfect with the berries. So I'm going to stamp that there. And then on the inside, there's this lovely thing to you. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this on the inside. Next, uh, your second piece of ribbon, you're just going to slip that under and tie it in a knot. Actually, it's not even really a knot, it's just pulling it tight, kind of like the first step of tying your shoes. And I'm going to keep it here to the right side. Originally, I, I'll do this technique a lot when um, I'm either short on ribbon or if I don't know where I want my bow to end up being. And that way you can slide it back and forth and get it just right where you want it. So now for these strawberries, since I've already punched them, it's just your, your regular punch, unlock it. And I just put little squares of designer paper in there um, just to minimize waste. So those, but you will have these all set. You also, if you do have the set, you can actually come in with the stamp set and stamp these images so it'll have a black outline on it. I'm limited on blocks, so I'm gonna have to not do that, but just take my word for it. And then there's also um, that for the stem. So you can have those lined images all over, but you'll see the stamp has this uh, solid image for the line. So it is a two-step stamp and you can fill in those. Next, we will get out my, my least favorite blue dots. And I think it's because the, the adhesive doesn't, it comes off with the backing. Um, there we go. Instead of the adhesive staying on the, the clear plastic, it comes off with the back. So then he had to peel the back off twice. Some people love this. I mean, they work very well, don't get me wrong. It's 
just what you like and don't like, I guess. There we go. So I've got my stems on there and then I just use the dimensionals to put them on. I love that berry paper. And put this one up here first and then the lower one. And then rhinestones. We will get three rhinestones through the red rhinestones. And just sprinkle them around. There. So very cute. Same card, one's birthday, one's thank you. That's just awesome. This would be a really cute uh, note card gift set, too, is to make a bunch of these and just either have them all thank you or different verses. That would be adorable. Okay, so next, this one. Love this one. This one. Stuff See, I use my mom's plates to keep everything together. <laughs> I don't think she knows. So anyway, this set is in the new catalog. It's called Hey Girlfriend. And it is just adorable. I know the girl with the, the heart sets the one we're using today. Um, I love my besties, your top act to follow. Hey, girlfriend, these just really spoke to me. And I, I've always loved paper dolls. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I can, I can actually cut, stamp this with designer paper and cut it out and have them have patterned outfits. How cool is that going to be? Haven't done it yet, but I will. So this is the card for this. And this one actually uses one of our note cards. Um, it's three and a half by five. And these are actually mailable. And um, they come in sets with the envelope. And look at how cute that is. Just love her. So for this card, again, is super easy. Oh, the designer paper. That's our third paper. Um, this is a level one, so it's a $50 purchase. Let me show you the florals. Look at how big and cool these are. These are great. Whether you're a scrapbooker or a card maker, these are wonderful. Look how pretty that is. And polka dots. I'm a sucker for polka dots. So those are all the floral pieces. And here are the other patterns, which actually are some florals as well. So I, yeah, they're just, they're beautiful. Let me set those aside. So here's this one. And this part is so easy to put together. Let's go ahead and stick our girl. And stamp it inside. All right, so since she's all done, let's go ahead and color her. I've got um, just the um, Rococo Rose. Uh, Misty Moonlight, which actually this is Night and Navy. I just grabbed the Misty Moonlight and I really like the way it looks. So um, the bronze and soft suede for her hair. And then 
I actually have a little bit of the soft sea foam, which actually is in the designer paper, and I'm going to use that to shadow her. Um, I, the pool party, I didn't think would would really quite look right because it's a different blue than these, and um, so the soft sea foam is perfect. All right, let's start with her hair. Now notice I'm not even pressing down with these markers. Um, you just lightly touch it to your paper. Getting her little, little strands there is a little tricky. Just get lost in coloring. And that was that was the trickiest part right here. I really like the bronze skin tone um, marker. It's not it's not too light and it's not too dark. Little hands, they're fun. I used to have legs like that a long, long time ago. <laughs> long and skinny. All right, here is the light for Coco Rose. Coco Rose is for her bow and also her lips. And I did the light misty moonlight for her skirt. I love that these markers, you can just go in whatever random direction you want and it just blends together. You don't have the streaks. And you can also layer color on top of each other, which, you know, you are meant to do that with the light and the dark, but even just layering um, more light on top of light. I'll show you here. You can get a nice shadow from that that ruffle just with a single color. And as that dries, it'll blend together even a little bit better. And then I use the dark for her shoes. Okay, so she is really, I don't even think you can tell on here that she's out. So you just go real quick. There, perfect. Now, let's get out my adhesive here. We'll just put her on this night and navy mat. And then we'll do the large 
stretch floral up to the top. And then this blue hairy bone. So even with as large as these patterns are, it works beautifully on the small card. That just always amazes me. So the stamp and seal is very sticky. I love it. That's our new adhesive. And, uh, there is a little bit of a, sometimes you have to kind of roll it up to get it going, um, but I don't mind, it's worth it. So this is, I think I, it's about a 15 inch piece of ribbon here. And what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna tie a bow. I normally don't do bows just because they're a little tricky and a little bulky, but this tool ribbon is nice and soft and very flexible. To where it's not an issue. Tie it up. Sometimes you have to mess with it a little bit. Yes. Hmm. Can't find that in. Pulled it all the way through. Okay. Try it. You are real tiny. And if you pull it tight, it gets, it does get narrower. But sometimes I have to do that to get it. And then you can fluff it back out. That's very forgiving. There, awesome. Some more dimensionals. And I'm going to add an extra there so she doesn't get saggy in the middle. And center her on the right edge here. And then more dimension on the back. Okay, so she is done. Isn't she so sweet? <laughs> so cute. Now for the fourth card, um, this one is my favorite standalone set in the celebration catalog. And um, it is absolutely darling. Darling is part of its name. Let's Get it on here. It's the darling doggy. <laughs> Many of you probably don't know that I love donkeys. I love that they're stubborn and I don't know any animal that has a mind of its own and lets you know it just amuses me to no end. I just I just love it. I love all animals, but donkeys, they just they're like, I don't care. I'm not doing what you want. Or sometimes, well, oh, okay. Uh, maybe I will today. I don't know. I just love that about them. So um, I was just so tickled when this set, they announced the set and I'm, yay, yes. So this is the card we're making. Um, again, you know, you can put whatever greetings you want on this. It's another easy one. And um, we have to do is stamp our donkey and I love that he's so cheeky with that flower in his mouth and now this one it shows that he's kicking but you can actually turn him so he's kind of like jumping up in the air too cute too cute now let's I think he'll fit on this block if I turn it and then 
I've got you're the best on there. There's also um, it's your birthday. Hey there, friend, and hey Claude. But I'm doing you're the best. I'm going to leave some of these for my mom because she has so many awesome friends that have been helping us out. So let's put that there. And this cutie pie. He's so cute. Yes, I giggle at myself all the time when I'm stamping alone. My family has gotten used to it. They don't even ask me who I'm talking to anymore. They just know. You're the best. Awesome. I actually cut myself a second one, and I'll probably have two in your packs too, just in case, because that is a tiny little. And then this is the Field and Flowers designer paper again. I love this print. Love it. And the polka dots on the back, oh, killing me. So this is the Bumblebee um, cardstock. And just put this one off the side there. We're just going to layer this right on, along the left edge. I'm not leaving a border at all. I'm just putting it there on the edge. And then oh, I forgot my ribbon. Well, this card's not going to have ribbon because it's all the way upstairs. So you're just going to have to imagine it. Okay, so let's get in color. That's the important part of mine. So on my original, I used the dark black for his hooves and his tail and his um and his hair, and you can't. I lost all that fine detail. So I'm using the um, the light black this time. Yeah, that's better. I can still see the fine lines in there. So I'm doing the tip of his tail and his fun little wispy hair up here. And then for his um, muzzle and his ears, I decided I went with the smoky slate here on my original. I'm using the chrome cake this time. I wanted to see what he looked like in the in the browns. So I'm using the light for the inside of his ears and for his muzzle. I think that's what they call it. And then the dark chrome cake for his body. I went with gray originally because, you know, that's the back of the pattern paper is black, but I think it'll be cute in brown too. There's that. Now, instead of shadowing him like I did the other two projects, I'm going to actually give him some ground to stand on. I think that um, either needs, images either need something to stand on or a shadow on the ground. So this, that's where I like that. Now, this is the granny apple green. This is the green that's in um, one of the greens that is in this paper. And the real red. So, cute. so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it together without the ribbon. I think it's going to be just fine without it. Center this on the front, on the 
front of our card. Um, more dimensionals. I'm just bag, so in the middle. Now, I'm only going to put a dimensional on the right side of the greeting, and that's so it'll be laid flush with the, um, our focal image with our donkey there. So here, just like that, and now I know I saw my rhinestone, here they are. There. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so that's it for my cards. Um, like I said, if you'd like this stamp, these uh, card kits for free, just place an order by um, by Sunday, January 10th, and I will send you the supplies to make one of each of these awesome cards. Excuse my arm. So there's that. Here's the host code. I will post it um, in the comments below the video and, um, and a link to my store and all that good stuff. But there you go. Thank you so much for, for celebrating me with me and um, watching me. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you again soon. Bye.